Designing digital media can be quite intimidating, but here at MailerLite, we aim to make your life easy. We've created the drag and drop editor so you can simply design your content intuitively without complex technology. Let me show you how. You will be able to use the drag and drop editor when designing campaigns, forms, landing pages, or websites. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna create a new campaign. Go to create, click on create campaign, give it a name, save and continue, then fill the rest of the information and click next. Here we're gonna start from scratch, click on drag and drop, and here we are. Okay, so this is where all the magic happens. First, let's look at the structure of this tool. We have three sections. The middle part is where you drop all of your elements and design the campaign. The left section is where you search and find all of the content blocks and then drag them into your design area. And here on the right is the editing section. And this is where you can edit and modify all the elements. Now let's quickly start with the left side. By clicking on all blocks, you'll reveal the block menu, which includes all of the elements you can add to your newsletter. The header is usually where you place your logo and branding. Content offers you a pretty wide range of content blocks from the titles, text to images and videos. RSS will integrate your website RSS feed and send it to your subscribers through the newsletter. So it's a great feature if you're writing a blog. The features block can help you highlight some of the values and benefits of your service or your product. In the gallery, you'll be able to display imagery. And as you can see, there are different gallery orientations. The buttons can be connected to a URL on your website or a landing page. So if a subscriber clicks on it, he or she will be sent directly to that URL. You'll be able to integrate your Shopify or WooCommerce using the e-commerce integration block, feature a specific product and send users directly to your online store. The special category includes different design blocks, the accordion, which allows you to elegantly present and highlight information in expandable tabs. You can also integrate events, or if you published an app, offer your subscribers exclusive deals with a voucher feature, add tables, signatures, and even custom code. Social and sharing lets you add social links and sharing icons, so subscribers will be able to share the newsletters on their personal pages. And you can also share posts or events directly from your social platforms onto the newsletter. The survey and quiz block lets you collect valuable information from your subscribers regarding your product or services, and you can modify and personalize these blogs to your needs. The footer is the bottom block of every newsletter and it includes your contact information, social media links, and the unsubscribe link. Now, before you start editing each section individually, I recommend heading to the editing section on the right side and modifying all of your global settings. It's efficient and you'll only need to do it once in order to modify the style of the entire document. In the template settings, you can change the block types, the global font, the background color or image, and your pre-header font and color. In the content setting, you can set the style of the blocks, change the background color, add drop shadow, or maybe a border. Now remember that your goal here should be to match your campaign as close as possible or identical, if possible, to your existing branding. Here you can style your text, titles, subtitles, body text, links, dividers. Changing it here will apply the new style to your entire document. So every new block that you drag into the document will be adjusted according to your global settings. You can choose the button style and colors here. And lastly, your footer can also be modified here. Okay, so now let's go from the top to the bottom of the document. At the very top, we have the pre-header. This is the text your subscribers initially see when they receive your newsletter. You can include it in the body of the message or keep it only in the pre-header. If viewers click on the view in browser link, it will open the newsletter in a new tab on a full screen. When you hover above each section, you'll have access to these modifying and editing tools. Going from right to left, we have the trash icon, which will delete the section. 
duplicate, which will duplicate it. The dynamic content tool allows you to personalize the section and choose the targeted audience. This feature is great if you want to send one newsletter, but have a section in it that is dedicated to one specific group and you want it to be visible only to that group. The editing tool lets you edit the section's content upload images, change text, and change the color and background of a specific section. On the left side, we have the arrows, which will let you push the content up and down the document. And the six dots lets you drag the section and drop it in a different area of the newsletter. Once you're done customizing your document, you can view the recent changes and reverse your design if you need to. You can also save the newsletter as a template, which would be great if you are sending multiple newsletters or if you're building automation flows. This will be your base template for all of your newsletters and you'll only need to change the content, so it's a big time saver. You can also remove all of the content blocks, which will wipe out the document so you can start over. But remember, this will remove all of the blocks. You can preview the newsletter here and see how your subscribers view it. You can also send a test email to yourself to see how the newsletter looks when it arrives in your inbox. And lastly, done editing will take you to the next screen. If you'd like to learn more about the drag and drop and other MailerLite tools, stay tuned and watch our other tutorials. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the bell button below so you don't miss any new tutorials. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe to our newsletter. The link is in the description section below. Have an awesome day or night, and I'll see you in the next video.